When I was young, I would often hike these hills. I knew if I didn't get outside that I'd just want to cry. My father was the oldest son of Ernest Hemingway. Cheers. It was kind of like the Kennedy family. The Kennedy had these horrible tragedies, and we were sort of the other American family that had this horrible curse. My grandfather, Ernest, is one of the greatest writers of the 20th century, and yet he suffered tremendous mental illness. I had come from seven suicides, perhaps more. My sister, Margot, was obsessed with the whole mystery of Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> the, I love bullfighting, I love great wine, I love great living. This is my grandfather's house. He spent a lot of time there writing, and that's where he took his life. She idolized the very thing I hated about my family. My parents fought all the time. No. No. I would clean up the blood, the glass. We were good wasps, you know? You don't speak about your problem. I really haven't told you that much about the family and all the suicide stuff, because I don't think that I ever wanted you to feel burdened by it. I want to change the dynamic, and I want to change the viewpoint that it's not a family of tragedies. It's actually a family of complete and total like embrace of joy. They say in spirituality, you're done with something when it doesn't affect you anymore. I'm not there yet.